If you are in a company that uses Outlook for your emails, you probably haven't looked into customizing your inbox. Odds are you've probably been using the default view in Outlook and never really thought twice about it. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how I customize my inbox for peak efficiency or what I think is peak efficiency. And so first we're gonna go over how to customize, how to add different views and stuff like that, that I think helps me out and I think will help you out. And then we're gonna go over what is called quick steps. So you can actually add hotkeys or short keys within Out Outlook in order to navigate around, sending emails, filing emails and stuff like that. Okay, so if we take a look at our screen here, we actually have just a standard Outlook setup, okay? This is what it normally sets up as. Now, this is my actual company's um, email. Well, it's my, my company, so it's me. I set up a business Microsoft 365 account and I set up an Outlook and I linked my domain. I did all the DNS records and all the fancy things. But what I wanna do is talk about how ugly this is. So if you look right here, you'll see these are just kind of huge blocks of text. Like you can see, it's not very pretty. There's like these weird icons here. There's some space here. It's just not utilized well. And so we can actually change that in the view settings. And this is how I set up everyone. And this is how I have it set up at my work. This is how I have had it set up on every company. So I'm gonna do it here. And I figured I'd just walk through with you guys. So we're gonna go to this view um, tab up here, up top. Now you can just drag and like click it, or you can press alt on your keyboard and you'll notice these little keys show up and press V in order to get over there. And then you can navigate that way. That's just using the alt key. So I just press escape a couple times to get out of that. But that's just to let you know, if you wanna move around faster, Excel has the same thing. They're called alt shortcuts. Um, so here, I wanna say, look, these are ugly. Let's change the view. So we're in view, change view and I'm gonna make it a single, um, instead of compact, to single. You'll notice nothing actually happens, <laughs> but if you go to change view and then manage views now, so now you're in single and then manage views, come in here, you can actually go to modify right here, so go ahead and click that, and then click columns, and then you can get rid of some of these ones that you're never gonna use, like I don't use importance, reminder, icon, flags, I really need the attachment from, subject, received, I don't need a size, I don't need categories, mentioned. Think of like minimalistic inbox. <laughs> and then go ahead and press okay and okay. And now you'll see that this has changed significantly. So you can actually move this around a little bit to make it a little prettier. So you just drag, you just drag and drop kind of stuff here. So now it's looking a little bit better, you know, the only thing that I wanna change now is I'm like, okay, it looks a little bit better, but it's still ugly. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna change this message preview to off and do this folder. And then that's a little bit tighter, that's really nice. So we added this off, right, this, this message preview. And now we have these nice clean lines. I don't have that weird, like, I don't need to see the message because I'm gonna open it, right? It's gonna be on this right-hand side. You can go even tighter, so you can click this tighter space. Um, it's up to you. I don't mind having it not as tight, you know, like this is fine. So what I recommend is kind of play around with the columns and what you feel like you need. But this is perfect for me because it's very simple and then I can see more than if we were to do the other way. I would have filled up like this whole page like down to here. And then if you have like a hundred emails, you can't see them. So I like having them really tight like this and then I can just see who it's from and then I can click. Now, the big thing here is you want to change this view and save the current view. So that way on all your other folders, you can just add that view, it's super easy. So click this save current view as and just put um, my, pref my preferred view or whatever you wanna call it. Um, can be used, all mail, okay. So now when you go to um, another folder here, you can just do change view, my preferred view, and then it sets it up automatically. So you don't have to go through all those steps for every folder. Okay, now this is very important. The way I structure my inbox is I have my inbox, right? In the inbox, I have archive and projects. So you do right click, new folder, and you're gonna just make two folders, archive and projects. Okay, there shouldn't really be anything else. Um, just keep it simple for now. And then under projects, add one for zero dash miscellaneous. And you'll understand why I put the zero there in a second. 
and then some projects. So I have two um, projects that I'm working on for like consulting. So I have two projects, I have a folder for each project. Okay, so at work, you just bundle them into projects. It should be very obvious. And then once they're done, you'll drag that into the archive folder once that project is done, okay? So this is how I structure everything. Everything goes in one of these boxes. Now the miscellaneous is because at work you get all kinds of weird Yammer emails and update emails and things that you just don't care about. Like they don't really fit into a project or like information about your 401k. Like I don't care, put it in the miscellaneous. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna add these things called quick steps, which are basically like making hotkeys in order to file things automatically. In order to make quick steps, all you have to do is go into the home section and then up here in quick steps, scroll all the way down until you see create new. So you're gonna, you're gonna click create new right here. And I'm gonna call this one, one dash, you're gonna name it exactly the folder that you wanted to move it to. So I'm gonna call it DW SharePoint because that's one of my projects. Choose an action. I wanna move to a folder, right? Move to folder, choose folder, and then make sure you grab the right one. So I'm moving it, to, I have the exact same name. Now down here, you see shortcut. I'm gonna do control shift one, because guess what? When I wanna press control shift one, I want it to go to the one section there. Press finish. And then you can continue to do that with the miscellaneous. So I'm gonna call this zero dash miscellaneous, and I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna move to folder, and then I'm gonna choose my folder, which is my miscellaneous. And then I'm gonna have control shift zero, which I cannot find, I don't have a zero. Let's do an eight and then go ahead and press finish. Now, what you wanna do is if you wanted to fix that, you can, oops, I just sent them over there. Hold on, let me move these back to inbox. So in order to edit, we can right click edit miscellaneous, change this to an eight because now that's an eight. And then you can go in here and basically change that to an eight because they don't need zero. But either way, it regardless of what you want to call it. So now when we go into here and I want to send this to my miscellaneous folder because I was just testing things out. If I press control shift eight on my keyboard, it moves it into the miscellaneous folder. So bam, sends it straight there. The key here is that your inbox should be a to-do list. Once you finish the item, so I have a bunch of items here, I have three items. If let's say this was a task one and it had to do with DWHR, right? Okay, I'm setting something up for that project. I would then file it once it's done. I would leave it in my inbox until it's completely done and I did everything in here. Now I don't have anything here because I was just testing something out. But then I would file it into that exact folder once I was done. So your inbox acts like a to-do list. And so the longer your inbox, that means you have more to-dos. The shorter your inbox, that means you have less to-dos. And then you'll end up having this really clean inbox where everything is ingested in this folder, but then as you get tasks done, you send them away. So it's really nice because you'll never lose an email and you'll never forget to do anything because it's literally your to-do box. And you don't have to flag anything because you should be doing those tasks. You shouldn't have like 300 emails, you know? Like try to make sure that they're tight enough to stay on the screen and each day you just go through them. It's, it, it has completely changed the way that um, I feel about emailing and Outlook in general because once you treat it like it's a task list, all of a sudden it gets easier and then people are like, whoa, you have the cleanest, you have the cleanest inbox I've ever seen. I get that like all the time. Now, I do want to mention some shortcuts because within your Outlook, you actually, they have a good amount of shortcuts in here. So again, I showed you the Alt one, so you can press Alt in order to navigate around. So you can press Alt and then use these um, letters on your keyboard to move around, but I'm gonna press Escape. If you, the ones that I use the most often <laughs> is if I want to get to my email, or my mail, um, my calendar, I should say, I'm gonna press Control 2 and that will move me to my calendar view. And then control one will move me back to my actual Outlook view, which has the emails. So those are the two that I use the most frequent. And then the other ones I like to use is that if I were to respond, you can press control all, I mean, control R to respond. And then you can press control F to forward your email. So if I do control F, 
it forwards it and then it has the forward right here so you know it's a forward and then control R will respond and then control enter will just send the email so I've never actually pressed the send button so <laughs> it's just kind of interesting because I don't actually press a lot of these buttons especially when I'm you know use the hotkeys and everything so just keep that in mind there are ways to navigate around you can get a full list I'll link the full list below but those are the ones I mainly use as like control enter control one and two to toggle between my calendar and my email now you can go a step further and automate your emails. You can do that using Power Automate if you have a business account. So I will link up here a couple videos on Power Automate to show you kind of the coolness of automating emails and automating tasks as well as some of these tips and tricks that I showed today. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time.